one of the really awesome features that Kansas can do is creating really quick queue stacks from existing palettes that you've already created. So if we pick our group of fixtures here, our spots that we have lit up, we highlight some palettes. So we'll do color palettes first. We copy them and we can place them right into a queue stack. You can see it names it as colors. And then we have, if I open it up, we have a list of all of our colors that we just copied. Uh, I would want to take it out of a chase so I can make it into a queue stack. I will set a one second fade time real quickly. And now I've just created myself a one second color queue stack. Now along the same lines, I can do the same thing with gobos. So I can take a bunch of these gobos over here, copy them. Now you can see it says beams. I might want to update that so that it does actually say Gobos. I have to erase this first. Gobos. And now I have an entire stack of Gobos that quickly. Again, take it out of a chase. I don't need to change any timing on that because I want my timing to be zero. And now I have a stack of Gobos. I can do the same thing now with positions. I can take these five positions here, copy them, and now I have positions. So within a couple seconds, I have stacks of positions, colors, and gobos that I can use for a show. A really cool trick is if I go to my group window, if I create some groups, so I've created three separate groups here. I'm going to bring down my intensity on this fader, and I'm going to copy these groups into a playback. When I copy groups into a playback, it automatically creates an intensity chase for me. So now I can use this in conjunction with my positions, and that quickly I got myself an intensity chase. This will honor the other chase speeds and crossfades that I can change, directions, chase types, in any other kind of chase that Magic Q creates. Happy programming!